Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on calculating the pH at equivalence of a titration. Equivalence is when you, if you titrate an acid into a base, you have exactly the same numbers of acids as you do bases. They completely cancel out. That's a, that is an equivalence. In the case of this example, you've got a strong acid, nitric acid is one of the seven that you memorize, and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. A strong acid and a strong base leave nothing, there's no products that themselves are acidic or basic. So a strong acid and a strong base titrate completely down to seven. So the answer of this problem, since you have nitric acid and sodium hydroxide, is seven. So the pH is equal exactly to seven. But you have to be really careful because if you have a weak acid, a weak acid, if you titrate a weak acid, you're going to get as it's, as it's a product, not just a neutralization, but you're going to get some weak base. And if you have a weak base, it's going to be a little bit higher than seven. If you titrate a weak base, its product is going to be a weak acid. And if you have a weak acid, then you're the it's going to be less than seven. So the so but if you have a strong acid and a strong base, they will titrate and its equivalent point will exactly be seven. So the the die or the indicator die that you use to know exactly when you've reached the equivalence point you would choose based upon what you're titrating. If you know something is going to be less than seven, you don't want to use something at seven. You want to use something lower than seven. And if you know that you're heading to a pH higher than seven, you want to choose one that would change at a little bit of a higher pH. So this one uh, we'll play with in class, but this particular question was as easy as it could be.